Hello and welcome, dear community. This is Don. Don Kryptonium speaking. And this is no time for negotiation anymore. This is time for the truth. Today, Don Don Kryptonium is going to tell you the truth about cosmos governance, the truth about Stakefish, Cosmic Validator, the truth about many other big validators, whether you run with the Don Kryptonium or you run against Don Don Kryptonium. If you support the truth, remember, like this video, subscribe and share this video because this is some serious shit. I'm deploying my milady. I'm also deploying my Remilio, my Ted Kaczynski Remilio because it's time to blow up some shit. So let's get to it. Let's learn what happens. We had prop 89. So let me let me break it down for you. So what happened yesterday? The proposal 89 passed and not big deal. But how it was executed and how it was played is very controversial. It shows you the horrible corruption in the governance of Cosmos. So this proposal was put by the small validator called Cosmic Validator, who struggles now in the... In the... <clears throat> so what happened yesterday? Proposal 89, which is very insignificant, but very significant when it comes to how was it played and potential corruption of the Cosmos governance system. So Proposal 89 was put by the Cosmic Validator, small validator on the Cosmos Hub that asked for 1,800 atoms in the span of six months. So just roughly $3,000 a month to fund their videos. This is small channel, uh, just below 500 subscribers, 12 videos uh, that are done twice a month. Uh, the videos are essentially reading the news. You need to understand that probably these subscribers are not gained uh, organically. I know for a fact that Cosmic Validator was sending and messaging a lot of community members and validators to like and share this video. So the likes are not really sway on the outside of the ecosystem. It's essentially the inside campaign. So what is the value of this? Okay, $3,000 is not much, but how was it played was very controversial. This proposal was not passing till the very last hour of the proposal. But in the last hour of the proposal, Stakefish, the largest validator of the hub, voting yes. And with that, the proposal passed 26% voting yes, 25% voting no, and close to 50% abstaining, and a lot of validators simply not voting. So let's break it down. I know for a fact that once this proposal was posted on the Cosmos Hub uh, forum, the Cosmic Validator was in the DMs of the largest validators of the Hub, that includes Citadel 1, um, that includes SG1 that later voted abstain, that probably includes these three other large validators that vote in yes. You might ask, hey, isn't it sort of corruption? Is it fair towards other community members and other content creators that don't have such treatment, that don't have this relation with the validators? So I'm asking, was it scheduled by the Stakefish and Cosmic Validator to vote this yes in the last hour to ensure that the governance becoming a joke and that they propose or will pass. Cosmic Validator is very unpleasant to deal unless you are a big validator. So this is the response. The majority of individual votes and also validator votes were yes or abstain, so the community overall supported the proposal. You might disagree, but must respect the overall voting results in the Cosmos community. There is no community 
They were in the DMs of the validators. And I know it for a fact because I speak to those people. Don't be fooled. Okay. So now the question, who is steak fish? And the question is, where this person at the steak fish insider work of the cosmic validator? Stakefish is the largest validator of the Cosmos Hub, but you need to learn a few more things about Stakefish validator. Uh, Stakefish, the founder of Stakefish, is also co-founder of the F2 Pool, one of the largest Bitcoin mining companies in the world. They are very powerful and they are infiltrating the crypto quite often in their shady behavior. You can see that they even have roughly half billion dollars secured with them on the Ethereum. A lot of this is simply co-founder. Um, they are also the largest validator of Cosmos. I keep repeating myself. And you need to know that just recently, they were listing the team on their website. Right now, it appears, I cannot find this. The team is simply hidden on the website. Why is that? Are there any employees that could expose the weird doing of the Stakefish. And don't get me wrong, if you stake with Stakefish and you undelegate, it doesn't matter. They have a lot of money to buy the voting power if they want, so they don't rely on anyone. That just shows you how big of a joke is the Cosmos governance. So, this is my tweet that I left over here. You know, don't play with them. They are not your friends, and the creators like me, I want to tell you there is two choices. You can be small, you can be positive in the in the cosmos ecosystem, and to gain power, you can become the friend with these very big validators. If you become the friend with these very big validators, you will have influence, you have money from them, you will have support for, from them. If you play it nice, if you try to stay objective, I can give you an example of Joe at Cosmos DeFi. You will be fucked left and right. You will not be supported ever. Uh, despite community watching you, you will never do anything. You have only two choices. Be friend with powerful entities or become a populist and fight against them. That's not the right word, but like you will have to actually speak the truth and you will have to be opinionated which some would see as the populism, because you will have to share your own opinions as I share with you right now. I asked them, if I would put the same proposal on Cosmos, would I get support? Uh, one of these big validators responded to me, no, because you share opinions. We don't want opinions. We don't want the truth. You need to play it nice with us. So I want to show you one last thing to ensure that you know who is Stakefish and who are these people who control the governance, okay? Uh, this is from four months ago. Zaki Manian saying, what? F2 Pool, once again, co founder, like, F2 Pool essentially, pretty much same entity as Stakefish, has been routinely ruining the time bandit attack on Ethereum for years under certain circumstances, F2 pool manipulating not on the Ethereum, they used to manipulate and play dirty tricks on Bitcoin as well, because they are one of the largest mining company um, in, the, in the mining world. Here is my response also, a few months ago, weird, uh, Shun saying, responding to Shun, and suddenly, just the day, not even day after they overthrown the Cosmos governance, the founder of Stakefish, or co-founder of F2 Pool, saying, yet another fund. Why now? Why suddenly waking up to the accusations? Right? Um, so I'm just going to le left it here. Cosmic Validator, you are a loser. You don't have moral core. Stakefish, you don't have moral core and I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you all, and I'm going to be pain in the ass. You are the reason why so many other important entities don't want to come to Cosmos, because they know Cosmos is corrupted. 
is corrupted to the core and the governance is absolutely dirty. You cannot fix it. You might pretend you are going to build some councils, unions, and sub-DAOs. The councils, unions, and sub-DAOs will be the members that are also bribing and are in the pockets with these validators. You, as community member, you have no choice. All you can do be the pain in the ass, like Don Cryptonymous, speaking the truth about what is happening. I want to tell you another thing that is very suspicious of what they did with this proposal. Uh, this proposal entered 24 December, just as the Christmas was starting. I'm just going to leave it here. Was it in purpose? Was it in purpose so in the last hour no one will see the voting? Because they will be absorbed with the Christmas spirit. Merry Christmas. Don't Kryptonium's out.